and everyone in the immediate area should be dead. Hi, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear industry, from engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. If you like this video, join the path to a clean energy future by liking and subscribing. Today we're going to be looking at a scene from Spider-Man 2, the one from 2004, involving the uh, nuclear fusion reactor built by Dr. Octavius. We will witness the birth of a new fusion-based energy source. Safe, renewable energy, and cheap electricity for everyone. Nuclear fusion is often regarded as the holy grail of energy sources, just as he said, cheap, reliable, and its only waste product is water. And yet, it always seems to be 20 years away. And this movie is almost 20 years old. So, Fusion 101, you need three things. High temperature, high density, and enough confinement time to lead to energy output. If enough energy is captured by the fuel, the system will become self-sustaining and is said to have been ignited. And that is where the challenge is. Creating a self-sustaining reaction greater than ambient heat losses. For instance, the sun has a sufficiently high temperature of 15 million degrees Celsius and sufficiently high gravity to pack its fuel into such a dense package that it sustains nuclear fusion. Impervious to heat and magnetism. Okay, those limbs are made out of some type of magic material. Nothing is impervious to heat. You can have a non-conducting strong material such as fiberglass that would be impervious to magnetism, but not heat. So he is going to be using his arms to hold something very hot under a strong magnetic field, presumably in the fusion reaction chamber. Maybe he's using a tokamak, which uses very strong magnetic fields in the shape of a donut. These fields confine plasma at temperatures over 150 million degrees Celsius, far hotter than the sun. We don't have the sun's gravity on Earth, so we compensate with higher temperature and strong magnetic fields to achieve the conditions for fusion. Good lord, that looks painful. In real nuclear applications, no PPE requires pins and needles in the back. This would never make it past OSHA. Nanowires feed directly into my cerebellum, allowing me to use these arms to control fusion reaction in an environment no human hand could enter. Doctor, if the artificial intelligence in the arms is as advanced as you suggest, uh, couldn't that make you vulnerable to them? How right you are. Which is why I developed this inhibitor chip to protect my higher brain function. Who on earth thought all of this was a good idea? Is he planning on controlling the reaction manually with his super arms? What about control panels operating arms remotely or any other tools that he would need for such a thing? And what's this about AI vulnerability? They can control his mind? Again, neither OSHA nor the Nuclear Regulatory Commission would even come close to approving this. Does he have a problem with control rooms or something? Is this whole nuclear fusion thing just a front so he can be a supervillain? Precious tritium is the fuel that makes this project go. There's only 25 pounds of it on the whole planet. No. Tritium is an isotope of hydrogen, the most common element in the universe. Now, tritium is quite rare with two neutrons in its nucleus and one proton. That's what makes it different from regular hydrogen. Um, though trace amounts of it do exist naturally. According to a report from the Institute of Energy and Environmental Resource, about 500 pounds of it was produced in labs between 1955 and 1996. It is also produced in nuclear power plants where water is used as a reactor coolant since the uh, hydrogen in the water molecules can capture those neutrons in the nuclear reactor and turn it into tritium. Though I will say it is pricey, over $30,000 per gram. It's not as rare as he says it is. Dr. 
Doctor, we have a successful fusion reaction. And everyone is dead several times over to the exposed nuclear reactor slash artificial sun thing. No shielding of any type, it's right there. For one, an object that size at 150 million degrees will burn everyone to death in over a 10 mile radius. Also, everybody just got a lethal dose of gamma radiation from the, uh, <laughs> from the fusion source. Uh, they would, let's just say they would be more fortunate to have died from the burns first. Also, there's a very strong magnetic field that everyone's right next to. Um, it will also kill anyone that happens to have a pacemaker. And I'm sure I missed a bunch of other ones. Please let me know in the comments how these guys are even more dead. Also, this reactor type looks like an odd combination of the tokamak I mentioned earlier and inertial confinement reactors which use high energy lasers to achieve the same goal. Weird, because those focus fire to a point and the plasma is about keeping it in a circle to generate that heat. So you, in a way they would kind of be conflicting with each other based on simple geometry, but weird. Producing a thousand megawatt surplus. Thousand megawatt surplus would make it comparable to a nuclear fission plant with a net production of that, um, but it isn't connected to anything. So where is all that power going? Everyone, again, should be burnt to a crisp at this point since it's all just heat and radiation. <laughs> so a real fusion reactor would need to be hydraulically connected to a steam generator, a turbine, a condenser, and a feed water in a loop to produce electricity. The only difference between a fusion power plant, a fission power plant, or natural gas or coal power plant is the heat source. Everything else in a steam cycle is the same, and has more or less been the same for the past 200 years. So this mighty fusion reactor is just a big magnet. Also, he said those arms were immune to heat by magic, but he wouldn't be, and no one in this room would be. So we're bringing up the magnet stuff, but not the heat stuff. This is getting out of hand pretty quick. Turn off the magnetic field to shut it down. It's as simple as flipping any electrical switch. When the reaction gets out of control like that, just turn it off and the reaction will stop. It should also have a protection relay of some sort that would do it automatically once parameters of the reactor get out of order. We have a containment breach! Ah. What containment? The reaction's exposed to atmosphere and they're just sitting there. It's exposed. Now we have the combination of a nuclear reactor you refuse to turn off and rogue AI. Okay, now it makes a little bit more sense as far as him not putting in any safety features because he is one of those guys that would test or want the test to work no matter what, regardless of safety. By the way, that was his wife who just died and he apparently cared more about an experiment than her. Just like that guy at Chernobyl. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission would never sign off on anything close to this. That means he must have built it without consulting them. And this isn't a secret, as is he's been performing this test in a major city with the financial backing of a multi-billion dollar corporation. Both Octavius and his Oscorp sponsors would be arrested long before this test was even conducted. Let's see what happens when he has a change of heart after making another, bigger fusion reactor. I will not die, monster! Noble sacrifice, but don't throw something that hot into the water. Again, 150 million degrees will make the water explode. A paltry 2,000 degrees at Chernobyl was enough to do that. Just turn off the magnetic field. They could have made a really cool sacrificial scene where he has to fight through the heat of the reactor, his artificial limbs somehow forming a shell around him, shielding him from the heat long enough for him to turn off the breaker. 
So they're not even being consistently wrong within their own universe. <laughs> Anyways, this movie was to nuclear fusion what nuking the fridge in Indiana Jones was to surviving a nuclear blast. The bizarre hybrid reactor design that made fake suns which only acted like magnets. So much wrong. I can't even make up a suspension of disbelief style reason of how this could possibly work the way it was shown in the movie. But please let me know if you can down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.